funnel slide is a very important slide in the presentations and we do it on the regular basis so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a funnel design or funnel diagram in PowerPoint as you can see here I have created a very colorful or a gradient background and when I click it will just show you the first part and then it will give you the options and the number when I click it will give me the second the third the fourth one fifth and sixth and on top of this I've just put something where some people are falling in our employees and then you got a polished employee at the end and similarly I created one more same 3d funnel the only the animation looks somewhat different and here I have not used any icons so let's see how to do this creative 3d funnel design in PowerPoint add a new slide and change the background to some gradient fill for this I have used three different colors let me just show you what are the colors I have used right mouse click go to format background and select the gradient fill and you can see here I have used one dark purple one light purple and some light orange color with the type radial and I have used you can see here this particular from bottom right corner then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes and under basic shapes select the circle hollow draw the circle and make the height and width as 4.5 inches and reduce the width by dragging this small orange point maybe this much size is okay shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some nice colors like pink I'm giving and then just say align center align middle then go to effects under 3d rotations I'm going to select this one which is off axis two point so you got this shape now and then go to 3d format here the top bevel I'm not going to select anything and go to bottom bevel and I'm going to select this one which is angle and you can see the small 3d effects appearing there then I'm just going to increase the height to maybe say a 30 and width let me just make it to a zero here and just put it here Now this shape looks much more darker so let me make it somewhat lighter again go to first select the object go to effects and here it looks like a straight let me just increase the width instead of zero you can see here I have made it 10 and height let me just increase also maybe a 36 and then I'm going to give some this material and a lighting lighting I'm going to select maybe a glow effect can you see this one and material let me just select this a metal so you got this particular a shape now now I'm going to add four more or five more same objects first select the object press ctrl D to duplicate it and then go to format you can just change the color as you like so maybe this color I will select and here the height and width let me just make it a 3.8 okay and then just bring it here then say send to back you can see here this is my second option and then I will add four or five more here 
so let me just select this object the orange one press ctrl d for the meantime let me just go to view and remove the guides okay then here the format i'm just making it three and give some different color here maybe you can give some orange again just send to back and again press ctrl d i can give maybe 2.4 here i'm going to change the color to some different color again send this to back so you can see here the shape of the funnel is taking place and again ctrl d give some different color here and i'm going to make it maybe 1.7 let's see how much it looks again send to back and the last one i'm going to give maybe 1. Three. let's see here and increase the height you can see here I'm just increasing the height and give some different color and send this to back also So you can see the design of the funnel is ready. Now it's time to add some text and some icons to it. So I'm just going to add an arrow and then the text go to insert shapes and select this particular line arrow. And from here, I'll just put some line arrow, shape outline, make it white and make it somewhat a bold line. And if you want, you can just say the end line should be this oval and the size is somewhat big. I'm going to add the text here. You can add with the title also. And the font color, make it white so it will be visible and any of your favorite font you can just select it and then select both this object using the shift key control d to duplicate it i'm going to put it here again control d i'm going to put it here again control d i'll bring the other side so bring this to this point and rotate it go to format rotate flip horizontal and right align the text Control D to duplicate it, put it for this one and Control D put it for this one. So you can see the text is ready. It's time to add some icons. If you have a ready made icons, you can use it or you can just go to insert and click on icons to insert any of your icons there. Now let's add some animations to it. Let me just close the format background, go to animations, enable the animation pane, select the first one, add animation, more entrance effect. I will just say a stretch and say, okay. So it's something, it comes like this, or if you want, you can just change the effect from top also. It comes like this also. And then 
I'm going to select both these objects and group it press ctrl G so let me just group it all one by one so the grouping is done now I'm just going to use the same add animation more entrance effect stretch say ok and I'll just say from left after previous so it comes looks something like this so now using the animation painter I'm going to copy the animation select first select this object click on animation painter and click on the orange one so it comes something like this and then select this click on this so it should come from right now again select this animation painter click on yellow then this for the text so likewise you can just do it one by one for the animations so if I play this comes like this then so you can see here the simple animation you can use it and as I said if you have some icons just use the icons it looks more creative That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.